pregnancy, a long series of transformations takes place in the mother's body, resulting in the birth of a baby. The average pregnancy lasts 40 weeks or about nine months. This complex process begins with fertilization, which occurs in one of the fallopian tubes. Fertilization involves the meeting and union of a male gamete called a spermatozoan and a female gamete called an ovum. Once the spermatozoan enters the ovum, they fuse together and become a single cell called a zygote. Already at this stage, the zygote contains all the genetic material of the baby-to-be, their eye color, sex, and the presence of or absence of genetic diseases are already determined. About 24 hours after fertilization, the zygote cell begins to divide into other cells. The zygote becomes a small cluster of cells that is now called an embryo. The embryo descends through the fallopian tube and implants in the endometrium of the uterus. This is called implantation. At this point, it is the endometrium that provides nutrients for the embryo. Soon after, the amniotic sac and placenta develop. The amniotic sac is filled with amniotic fluid. The fluid cushions the baby from shocks and sudden movements. The placenta is an organ that allows exchanges between the mother's blood vessels and the umbilical cord of the embryo. Through the placenta, the embryo receives nutrients and oxygen and gets rid of the waste. Throughout pregnancy, the mother has to take care of her health because everything she ingests is shared with the baby. Both the nutrients and toxins consumed by the mother are transmitted to the baby's bloodstream and can affect them. After nine weeks, the embryo becomes a fetus. It's about five centimeters long. Almost all organs are in place and are still maturing. From this point on, the fetus starts to move. There's a lot of room in the uterus, so the mother does not feel it yet. During the following weeks, the fetus continues to develop. The joints become more defined, the senses sharpen, the baby becomes stronger, the hair grows, the baby dreams, and much more. As of the seven month, the baby grows so fast that it gains over 200 grams per week. There is less and less room in the uterus and the fetus starts to feel cramped. The head points down in preparation for birth. The mother can feel the fetus move and may even see a tiny foot distorting her belly towards the end of her pregnancy. Although a typical pregnancy lasts 40 weeks, the fetus is considered full term as of the 37th week. It's well developed and can be born at any time without being premature. Generally, the fetus stays in the uterus until childbirth. Labor is the term used to describe all the mechanical processes that accompany childbirth. Labor takes place in three stages, the duration of which vary from one delivery to another. The first stage is dilation. The contractions of the uterus push the baby against the cervix, which dilates to let the baby through. Usually, the amniotic sac tears and the amniotic fluid flows out. This is commonly referred to as the water breaking. At first, the contractions are weak. As labor progresses, the contractions become more frequent and intense. The dilation stage can last between 6 and 12 hours. The second stage of labor is the birth. It starts with the dilation of the cervix and lasts until the birth of the baby. It's during this stage that the mother must push to allow the baby to come out. The birth typically lasts anywhere between 20 minutes and 2 hours. Finally, the last stage of labor is delivery. The uterus continues to contract to release the placenta and umbilical cord. This phase usually lasts about 30 minutes. Pregnancy should be closely monitored by a health professional. In fact, as of the first trimester, the pregnant woman has several follow-up appointments to check her weight, her vital signs, and the fetal heartbeat, among other things. Blood tests, ultrasounds, gestational diabetes screening, and several other tests are offered. The purpose of these follow-up visits and tests is to detect possible complications and to intervene quickly to ensure a successful pregnancy. 